But right now, there are two candidates uh, for Senate in the uh, GOP primary uh, next Tuesday. One of them is in Florida, and one of them is right here in our studio right now. <laughs> Doug Happy Truex. Happy to be here. Happy to be here. Thank you for coming in. Well, your opponent, Jim Overweis, apparently repaired to Florida, believing that, well, first of all, it's his wife's birthday, so uh, he had to go there, I guess. That's, that's his, uh, what he's saying. But uh, he's there. It seems like he thinks he has an insurmountable lead. Well, and I think that uh, I think he's wrong. Uh, I'm definitely chipping away at that. I've had uh, any time people get to see me and him together in a setting where there's uh, an endorsement or something like that from a township, I win those battles 70-30. So, you know, it's just a matter of getting it out there. He's got very high name ID. I started with nothing, so we're making those lines cross as we get closer here. But uh, the larger point I've been making as we go along here. This is a, it's a judgment thing, and uh, I think uh, Republican primary voters need to be very aware that uh, uh, we get to a place uh, in the run against Dick Durbin, and if it is Jim Overweiss, uh, can we trust his judgment? And uh, we got the helicopter over Soldier Field, uh, we got the tax shelter in Florida, and now we got preparing to uh, Florida the week before, and I think that that goes to the larger point of judgment in a campaign. And then obviously, this is about uh, being a U.S. Senator, and uh, uh, one of 100 senators in this country, and we need somebody with really good judgment in that job as well. So lots of things at work here, and I think it proves the point I've been making across the entire campaign. We've got to have somebody in this Republican primary uh, victory we can trust against Durbin, and then also somebody's going to take it to him as well, not uh, not head to Florida. So. Well, when you talk about these matchups when you guys are before an editorial board or before a Republican organization. Uh, what's the uh, substantive policy distinction that you make between yourself and Jim Oberweiss, and, 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 and how does that play into you know, people's reaction between the two of you? Yeah, I, I, I make this point a lot. It's, it, a lot of what we've done, and he's flip-flopped on this a number of times here, um, uh, foreign policy. You know, I, I, I've, I've raised my hand to defend the Constitution with my life, you know, West Point, uh, uh, Army, six years active duty army so I'm not for combat I'm not for boots on the ground but leadership from behind gets us to more conflict and more chaos in the world and Jim Overweiss said in the beginning hey I'm okay with what Obama's been doing and uh, uh, like I said I don't want to go to combat but we got to understand that the the weaker we are on the world stage the more chaos we're gonna have uh, and we're seeing it day by day now uh, the stronger we are you know people used to make fun of Reagan when he would be strong on the diplomatic front but we had peace and uh, stability going forward from that point so that's been the biggest substantive issue on policy um, but the bigger issue is electability and that's what, that's what we're talking about. To, to, I mean you're a newcomer to this racket in Illinois this is your first run for office you're a relatively young guy uh, what's been your experience uh, running in, in the Republican primary just your experience with the Republican Party now that you've intersected it in a way you hadn't previously. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's been great. You know, I think that there's a lot of people out there ready for somebody new. They're ready for a new face with new ideas. Uh, they understand that uh, with Jim Oberweiss, you lose five races in 11 years, you are the same old, same old. And uh, we've got to go a different direction. The Republicans on the ground, when I win these uh, all these opportunities to represent us in this primary, they see the opportunity. And, uh, and, and I think like in my Tribune endorsement, they said, hey, if the Republican Party is going to make a comeback, uh, we need more guys like me. I'm happy to hear them say that. I think that's absolutely the case. We've got to have strong leadership going forward. We've got to have people that are new, new faces with new ideas to lead us to a different place because we certainly need to get to a different place in this state and in this country. 